So we've got um, 35 to 40,000 fish at the moment. Not good. Does they have three so to have their own fish? Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> All of these are Diane's. What are we looking at here? So what you see down here are babies. These guys are three days old. Today is the day they're hatched. Oh, but it's also the day that are fully developed hot. Oh, wow. So what's your story? How did this all happen to you? So I was 17 and I had a cardiac event while I was running. I was medicated for a long time, had a few different relators, and then I had a transplant two years ago. Our research is really exactly what your problem was about, which is dilated cardiomyopathy. We have a, a unique mm -hmm. in Australia zebrafish program where we can make little zebrafish that carry the very changes mm -hmm. that we see in some of our families. Yeah, wow. We're trying to sort of pinpoint all those genetic changes yes. that cause disease. If we can find the cause of disease, we can screen people early. Stories such as India's really make us think about what's important and how devastating dilated cardiomyopathy can be. So we really need your support to help us do vital research so that we can improve the outcomes of patients like India and her family. I think being 22 and not knowing what your future looks like in terms of health is just terrifying. It's really frightening for you and your family. It doesn't matter how young and healthy you are, this can happen to anyone. Dilated cardiomyopathy affects a lot of young people and I'm just so grateful for the research. I'm living a very normal, healthy life now, so I'm really lucky.